Well, crashing right through the front door, police say a man threatens officers and then rams his car into a police station in Hartford County. Welcome to the News at 5, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. I'm Nicole Baker. That rampage in half a degree ended with the suspect in custody, and that man tonight now facing attempted murder charges. And then WJZ investigator Mike Halgren live at the damaged police station tonight, where crews work quickly to make repairs there. Mike. Rick, Nicole, it is amazing that no bystanders were injured in any way because of this. And dispatchers typically sit right on the other side of these doors 24 7. You can see just how much progress they've made. They put up a brand new door here. Police are telling us they may put some barricades up in the future so that no one can do this again. This shocking video shows the moment a man rammed an SUV into the Harvard of Grace police station just before 10 Sunday night. He stated he was en route to the station to shoot an officer. No one was injured, and police are charging 24 year old Timothy Joel Jackson Call with attempted murder and assault. The rampage started at Call's home less than a mile away, where they say he hit several cars. Police responded there after they say Call called them threatening to kill officers. First, it was a big squealing noise, and then there was boom, like a real loud impact. I was in my bedroom, um, and I jumped up, and I just said, that's my car. Neighbor Sheila Keyes says Call pushed her new car right into her house. But God delayed me from leaving my normal time. No life was lost, just property damage, so I'm grateful. Yes. What did you think when you saw that he went right, right into through. the police station? It could have been, he could have been into one of our homes. Neighbor Arthur Bell's car was also damaged. For the incident to start here and work its way all the way around to the, um, the police station, and that is quite frightening. The suspect's mother told me he was suffering from mental illness. She declined an interview. Keyes says her family heard loud noises from their shared wall for days. And I said, oh, my God, Mommy's right. Somebody's banging on the wall. She says, something's wrong. Something is wrong. Police tell WJZ after Call drove through the police station, he got out of the SUV and again threatened officers. They used a taser and captured him alive. Yeah, we're grateful that nobody was injured in this. Uh, our officers used great restraint with uh, apprehending the suspect. And police tell us the suspect was taken to the hospital to get checked out. He'll eventually be transferred over to the detention center. Reporting live in Hobbit of Grace, Mike Helgren, WJZ.